Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be discussing about a widely used Excel function for analysis and decision making, which is known as data table. Now, what is the function of that function? Let's understand that. So, if you see uh, the data which is given in my Excel, so there is a column which is amount invested, interest rate and number of years and it is asked to calculate the future value of amount. I hope the uh, formula is very simple that amount is equal to P1 plus I whole to the power N and then you'll get the answer but what if there are different different parameters for which you have to calculate the future value like suppose if the interest rate is four percent and then it is invested for five years what will be the amount if it is invested for 10 years what will be the amount 25 years what will be the amount and similarly if the parameter changes from 18 percent or 16 percent for 25 years or 12 percent for 25 years then how do you calculate that do we need to each and every place we do you need to write is equal to p1 plus i hold to the power n and calculate the formula or is there a shortcut key for that of course there is a shortcut fee for that a key for that and that's why we are uh, making this video so let's learn how we can do that so first what we'll do is that we'll calculate the future value so in order to calculate that is equal to 1 lakh rupees is the principal into 1 plus sorry plus 8 percent to the power to the power number of years so what does this means this shows that the if one lakh rupees is invested for at a eight percent interest rate for five years the amount comes to one lakh forty six thousand now we have to calculate that what if this one lakh is invested for at the rate of four percent for five years what if this one lakh is invested for twelve percent for twenty years then we will not calculate each and every field separately. There is a shortcut for that. First, we'll create a table like this that whatever parameters we'll be requiring, like for 5 years, 10 years, 25 years, whatever. The, here, you'll be copying the formula which you have uh, given in uh, this cell, which you have calculated in this cell, like in future value of amount. So, you can copy the formula or you can just link this uh, cell with that formula. So, I did that. Now I will select this entire data range. I will select this entire data range from from this cell, from the highlighted cell in green. I will select everything and then I will click on data. In data, there is an option. If you see in the forecast tab, what if analysis? So I will click on what if analysis and I will click on data table. The moment I do that, there is a dialog box which has opened and it is asking for two inputs, row input cell and column input cell. So if you see, in the matrix which I have prepared, in the row, it is given interest rates and in the column, it is given number of years. So, we will link the interest rate with this cell. This is the primarily input cell. So, in primary input cell, the interest rate is in B3. So, we will link here and in the column, it is years. So, we will link the primary input cell of years here and we will click on OK. The moment we do that, each and every uh, values gets automatically calculated. So you have a proper scenario that if one lakh is invested for 4% interest rate, what will be the value after 5 years, after 10 years, after 15 years, after 20 years. Similarly, if the same one lakh is invested at 16%, what is the value after 5 years and what is the value after 25 years? And an uh, interesting thing to notice is that, that what we invest at an 8% interest rate gives us at the end of 25 years a 684000 value whereas have we invested in markets and mutual funds kind of thing it will have turned out to be 40 lakhs so in the short run it does not seem like after five years it is like two lakh rupees only but only one time one lakh investment can if you are investing it for 16 percent it is turning out to be 40 lakh rupees so this was the major uh, learning for today that how to use the data table function and this is not only for uh, interest rate or like future value of amount calculation. Any formula will work here. Like if you have to calculate EMIs, what will be the EMI under different scenarios? What if the interest rate is 8%, 9%, 10%, 12%? And what if the uh, tenure of the loan is 8 years, 9 years, 10 years? You can uh, do that. And like here, I have uh, given the formula like 4%, 8%, 12%. Like you have to tweak, yeah, you have to, you know, need to know for 14%, suppose, or you need to know for 20%. You can just change. And 
and not only that if the amount invested is 1 lakh rupees instead of 1 lakh rupees you wanted to make it like 6 lakh rupees or 60000 rupees what will be the scenario your data every data gets automatically updated so this is the beauty of this data table function i hope you enjoyed it and you will be applying it we'll keep making more videos please do like share subscribe the channel and thank you for watching